Hi, welcome to this demonstration illustrating how to rename existing Visual Studio project. Now, if you are attempting to do so, then let me caution you that you need to watch this video very carefully and follow all the required steps. Otherwise, you will risk uh, losing your project folder and your work entirely. I'll also include all the steps in written in the description section of the video, so feel free to check out that as well. So here you can see on my screen uh, my Visual Studio project, uh, which has a default name of Windows Form Application 1. Now I, I would attempt to rename it. So the first and most important step I will do is create a copy of my project and paste it somewhere else so that in case if I mess up, I always have a backup of my project and I do not lose my work. So I've pasted it in my desktop. Now navigating back to my original file. So the first step after you create a copy is to rename the parent folder or the root folder of your project to your desired new name. Say for example lab2 just for namesake purpose. Now inside lab2 you see the subfolder and the solution file. So let's uh, open up the solution file in Visual Studio. Now the next step would be to change the name of the solution file and the project file to Visual Studio. So to do that, we'll first go ahead and change the name of the solution file by right clicking here in the solution explorer and go to the option rename. Change the name to lab02 and then change the name of the project file using the same procedure. Once this is done, we'll now uh, open the project properties from the project view, which you can find on the top taskbar. Open the lab two property and change the assembly name and the default namespace to the new name. Once that is done, you need to update the assembly information by clicking the assembly information button and change the type title and the product name to the new name lab02. Click OK and this is a good point where you click save all so that you ensure that all your changes you have made right now are saved. You can close the project properties tab. Now the next thing is to change the name of the namespace. Now to do that we'll do or we'll rather update the namespace from the program.cs file. So to do that, just right click on the program.cs file from the solution explorer and open it. So you can see your namespace is still the previously existing Windows form application one. Click on it and highlight or rather select it and uh, right click on it and choose the option rename. Once that is done, your previous uh, Windows form application or the previous namespace name will be highlighted. Delete that and provide the new name. Once you have written the new name, click apply on this pop-up menu and it tells you that it will update the namespace name in three files. So what it does is it also changes the namespace in your form1.cs file. So if you want to check that, let's check that here. So you can see that namespace name has been updated. Now uh, you can go ahead and close the Visual Studio project. And now if I navigate to the root folder, uh, that's the lab2 name which we manually edited it. Now inside you see the solution file is updated and inside the sub project folder you see that the project file is also updated. So now is the correct time to rename the project subfolder also to the new name lab02. And now let's uh, open the solution file again. So you notice that uh, in on the right on the screen, the solution explorer says that it was uh, unable to load the project file. So that's all right. 
what we'll do is we'll remove this project file and add the project file again to this solution file. So right click there and click remove. When it pops up, uh, click OK and your previously existing project file has been removed. To add the new project file, simply right click on the solution file and go to add and select existing project. Once that is done, navigate to your project file, which is inside the project subfolder known as the lab2.csproj. Click that and it will populate the solution explorer and now your file is completely renamed. So to test that, let's run the program. It simply adds two number, let's add two numbers and there you have your correct result. So I have now successfully renamed my uh, project file into a new and updated name. So hope that helps and if you run into the problem, please uh, see this video or follow the instructions in the description section. Thank you so much.